Okay, wow. So I still can't get it to my email, but and I want to apologize for not being able to record the finale and my Jerry Springer style um for the 2023-24 NFL season, which was very crazy, but I could do it now. Also, I have been sick off and on, and of course I'm still dealing with the back pain, and now my shoulders want to bother me. Who knew? And uh, then they just had the elimination chamber. Oh, I can't wait to talk to Sheriff about the elimination chamber. Oh my God. If people was talking about that is predictable, but entertaining, and then R2 friend into a wrong country, just like he went into the women's Royal Rumble instead of the men's Royal Rumble. <laughs> I mean, wow. But anyway, I can't, I can't wait to talk to the sheriff about that, the Royal Rumble, uh, next week, because, well, it took place early, very early, uh, a very early Saturday morning, because you might be listening to the podcast at a different day, or people that's listening to the YouTube. By the way, don't, I mean, I'm very bad with begging on YouTube. Don't forget to drop the like button, and then, um, uh, subscribe to become a citizen, now that I got that out of the way. Wow. What a year. So, I'm going to do this just like Jerry Springer, uh, just like Jerry Springer talked ta- the way he ate us. I want to thank the team for putting it the best effort on the 2023 as 24 24 season, and good luck into the next season, which is 2024 and 2025. We have all seen the craziness of what happened at the NFL, and it all started when the fight broke out. With, with a couple of fans that was in the preseason game, which I don't usually never cover, but the preseason game was doing what I was going to podcast movement. Yeah. And I was shown the fight, and I was like, oh, my God, this is at a preseason game. Then it all started to unfold. You could have made a movie out of this. I mean... I don't know what to call it because it has so many storylines. It had cheating refs, it had action, it had romance, all rolled into one. Well, let's start with the cheating refs. I mean, the ref has been um, calling bad calls, and then, I mean, it's just been downright terrible. And then, two, it got to the end of the season that the NFL finally did something uh, to penalize the ref for making bad calls, and... And then they had new refs for the uh, the playoffs and the uh, and the Super Bowl. Now, I still cannot forget the score that was above all scores, and you was confused whether it was the NFL or the NBA. That seventy, I think it was seventy to twenty or seventy to ten, whatever it was score or uh, whatever the Broncos got killed by. I mean. You you couldn't just you could just cut the tension with a knife right there. I mean, oh, the Dolphins were just on fire that day. So we had that, and don't forget, it was the day in September, the day we we'll always remember, cause that was the day. Taylor Swift and Tick Egg Travis K got together. We didn't even see this coming. After that, the NFL stopped buzzing and running. People were depending on you to tell me the truth. Anyway, yep. It all stopped in September. When Travis K started dealing with dating pop country and one of my ex crush tell us well so it just kept going going and going she'd been to different well football games with travis Smith played uh travis been, been at one of her, her concerts on the areas tour uh Aries tour and that's what got me jealous because she actually sang the song one of karma song and it was like I think you heard me say what time when it said karma was the chief that that that's going to be coming home with me tonight. I was like, really, really, 
And then they all saw the father and, and his reaction when they said that part. Then we all saw the hug coming out of the concert as well. And then it all furious started right from there. Everybody wanted to model their relationship around Travis K and Taylor Swift. Then Patrick Mahone and his wife had to get into the picture. Oh, you got to do a story about Taylor Swift all the time? Let's get into the picture. It's almost started to become love and football. They used to have love and basketball. Well, this time it's going to be love and football. And even to, even um even this week, Travis is going to go to another another show on Taylor Swift, or maybe she he, he have already co- go there already. But it's just been crazy. So now. Taylor Swift did not want to go in the gloves, but she did want a Grammy. And then Travis K. Travis said, oh, you want a Grammy? So now I got to flip the bargain and, and win another Super Bowl ring. And sure enough, not only did they manage to make the Super Bowl, they managed to have a Super Bowl rematch with the 49ers, and they actually won. And yet, mind you, on the biggest holidays of the season, you had Christmas, you had New Year's, you had Taylor's birthday, you had even Valentine's Day. No engagement, only talk, but it's still it's still it's still a madhouse. And every time you turn around, now Taylor does have a right to support her boyfriend, but every time you turn around, instead of showing. Well, they do show the game, but every time T- Travis K make a play, oh, let's show Taylor, let's show Taylor. I'm surprised they didn't show Taylor when um when Travis K was uh getting into argument with the coach or or that time that he threw a ha- uh, helmet. But it was funny that because I noticed that when um I was like, oh, he's about to be embarrassed right in front of his girlfriend. Yeah. But that was funny though. That was that was all that was a heck of funny. But it's 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 just, just been a madhouse. So up until the start of the season and in September, it was all about the team. But then when September all found, it was just all about Taylor Swift and Travis K. And then it was about Patrick Mahone and his wife. What's the deal? I mean, even in the Super Bowl, you have celebrities coming to the Super Bowl. I mean. I should perform this halftime Super Bowl show. I mean, <laughs> nope. It was all about Taylor Swift. All about Taylor Swift and Travis K. What in the cat does 2024, 2025 season will bring in? Well, we don't know. It might be crazier than the last year. But I got to say this. Until then, take care of yourself. And each other, and that's the finale of the uh, the uh, NFL pickup for the 2023 2024 uh, NFL uh, pickup. So, by the way, <laughs> and I will be starting summer school in March. I'll be starting with Sophia classes, and then going to my regular school. Now, right now, right now, my main regular school part A is uh, University of the Cumberland, which is a Christian school. Right now. But I got Plan A and Plan B because of the price thing, and then because of the uh, whole FAFSA situation fiasco that's going on. Even a lot of schools are delaying, you know, uh, the deadline for students to apply for financial aid because of the whole shenanigan. And where were you when AT and T had something went wrong with their towers? Did you do you have Cricket? Do you have AT and T or the provider that was using AT and T towers that you could use the phone for like the whole morning? Oh my God, it was crazy. I used Cricket and I couldn't even use it. I, I couldn't even use it. I thought I thought my phone was out the lead until I got the, back to the Wi-Fi. But it finally came back in the afternoon. Some people said it was a solar flare that happened early in the, uh, in the morning. Some people said that they was hacked. We ain't getting no answer. But something's got to give. Something's definitely got to give. But anyway, 
I'm Prince DJ going off to college and this is still the home of the best citizens on the net today. I hope my back get better. I hope I get rid of this. Whatever the heck I have and my shoulders gotta stop hurting me because when I get back during the 2024 25 season it's on like Donkey Kong. And remember Cheryl we definitely got to talk about the Elimination Chamber. What the heck? Whew. I mean, yes, it was hot in Australia, but it was probably hot in the Elimination Chamber. Man. Anyway. Peace!